Hi, how you doing? I am Jay, and I'm going to be doing a uh, YouTube video on door to door sales. I got on YouTube today and thought, hey, I do door to door sales. I'd be interested to see what kind of tips they're out there. And there's various different things, and so I thought I could add some stuff that I've learned. And I, if I like it, I'll probably go into a lot more detail down the road sometime. But right now, I'm just going to kind of do the basic, right off the bat, under a few minutes, sales spiel. Okay. Um, to break it down, uh, what the sale is for me is level one, level two, and level three. Pretty much, you've got your intro, your body language, making the people like you. Second of all, is the product of what you're selling, what it is, how it is, and what you're going to do. And then level three is the close. You can't have a level three unless you have a level one because you got to be able to talk to people. So it's really important to be able to conform. I use that word conform because I really feel as a salesman, you are conforming to the needs or the body language of the individual at the door. If you're talking to an elderly lady, you slow yourself down. You, you talk softer. You, you, you bend over a little bit. You know, conform to what, what's going on. Someone just won a million bucks and they're excited. They're at the door. You know, you talk to them. You follow that body language. Uh, you, you know, whatever the case is, older, younger, all those different levels. Everybody has an aura about them, an energy, and you want to be able to match that as, as best as possible. You are the likable guy. You are the salesman. One thing that I, it really blows me away is when I hear people go out and talk to a car dealership or something and, and they come back and they're just they're saying things like, yeah, he wasn't even a salesman. It was great, great customer service. And I'm thinking, wow. He's that good to come across as non-threatening, not as a salesman. If you can come across as not a salesman, you're going to get sales. Good stuff. Okay, so going to the intro. Conform to the body language. The middle part is the, the product itself. So obviously at this point, you want the product to look this big. You want the price to look this big. Okay, there's a difference. However that works. Price or product's this big, price price is this big okay so you really want to emphasize the need and and how it's gonna work a lot of times people will break down prices so you know in dollar a day or whatever the case is that's good stuff um, while I'm in the intro or level two sorry level two I really close quickly uh, people say you've got 30 seconds before a customer loses interest or you, you know you don't win somebody over I say you've got 10, I say you got 5 seconds. It's quick. You need to get there, you need to conform to the individual. Right off the bat, point out the need. I'll point out that, that other people in the neighborhood are having problems or whatever the case is. Other people are doing it, so let me suggest why we can do it for you. Um, and start selling the product. The reason I jump into my close really quickly would be for that 30 seconds, and I close within probably 10 to 20 seconds, is the fact that when you close people, it forces them to bring out their concern and it forces them to, to say yes or no to you. Um, the more time you spend at the doors, the less time you get to talk to other people down the road. So you kind of want you want a, a good rhythm, you want it to be quick, but at the same time you want to be able to make sure that you are selling the individual. So that's over time I think you can you can learn how that works. Okay, and so um, when you get to the close, after talking to the individual and, and demonstrating what you do for the first few seconds, you close them. And how I do it, um, to give an example, uh, for pest control specifically, I'll talk about how I'm going to be servicing the neighbors. I can come by and service my customer. What's a good time? Boom. The close right there. So I've introduced myself. I tell them what I'm doing um, and that I can come by and take care of them. And so it doesn't work with everything, I understand that, but you, the close, the sooner the better in my mind because it really forces that concern to come out. So you've got the intro, conform to the body language. Uh, you know, stand to the side, don't be threatening. This is more threatening uh, of a presence. Um, level two is, is talking about the product a little bit and don't talk about price until price is brought up. Simply because you need the time 
to talk about everything that you do so that if there's anything that does interest the customer, they get to hear that before you talk about the price. If they don't care about anything except one little item, for example, you're trying to sell a car and you're talking about how amazing the car is and all they care about is the shiny rims and you don't talk about the rims at all, you're not going to get anywhere. But as soon as you hit those shiny rims, boom, they're interested. And they're like, what? what's the price? I don't care. Let me sign. And, and so you really want to uh, find out and get as much time as possible and your close brings, that, brings up the opportunity to find out what their concerns are or what the direction is. While you're in level two, remember to listen. Listen to your customers. Have them ask, um, have them talk a lot. That's why asking questions is really good. So when I get up there and I'm talking to people, I'll ask them, so what, what are you seeing? What's going on? What's in your life? How are things working for you? That develops trust. There we go. That develops trust. That develops a concern, a genuine concern in them, and it gives you the opportunity to read them. And You need to be, be able to read people and, and how things are going with them so that you know how to present your product and help them see your point of view and why it's a good idea to have it. Thank you.